Hey guys. Um, so some of you, especially the most recent subscribers, um, you must be wondering what I'm doing. I'm not making any videos on my, on my channel, no gaming related videos whatsoever. <laughs> if you look at my history, pretty much all my videos are like about water cycling and, and stuff that just doesn't really fit into my channel. Well, I have another video that doesn't fit in my channel. Um, I got some nice phosphoric acid here, 85%. And what I'm actually doing here is I'm right now I'm kind of cleaning my motorcycle and I'm getting new tires and just stuff like that. And well, I thought while I'm at it, I might as well clean it and just water and soap doesn't really doesn't really help if you've ridden a motorcycle in the in the winter especially at some parts like you see a lot of corrosion it's it's just crazy it it, it adapts like all the screws like can you believe it those screws were shiny at one point and yeah they don't want to help since I've ridden my bike in the winter with salt and that's where the acid comes into play um, because phosphoric acid is apparently a come on camera is a apparently a pretty damn good rust remover so yeah well you can you can already see it here like I have had this part in and it turned shiny again and the tip of this thing I mean it's not perfect yet um, I'm it's just getting started this is my first try ever but the tip of the thing was covered in rust and corrosion and whatever and now look at it it's shiny or shinier and that's what I'm doing here and I have those two screws those are the screws that holds my my front uh, my front brake calibers and just look at them just messed up and you know how about I put them in the acid and let's see how they turn out I've had some parts already in there um, there's it like this wash washer it was it's as bad as the as the screws here and look how shiny it turned I mean, again, it's it's not perfect yet, but in my opinion, it looks way better. And since the phosphoric acid just it doesn't only eat the rust, it also eats the the metal itself. Um, I have no clue how this turns out. Maybe it's rusted in a week again, since there's no real protection. So I just got myself some 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 fails of lubric lubricant and just sprayed it on there and well I'm just gonna see how it holds up and turns out and yeah you can see with this washer uh, with this nut it's bubbling it's the hydrogen gas that that gets produced in the process and yeah well I will maybe <laughs> make some gaming related videos again um, I really hope you all liked the Surviving Minecraft Island. It's been <laughs> two and a half years since we recorded it. And it's crazy. Like, this was before the, the Minecon 2013. Come on, camera. Yeah. yeah, it was that long ago. And I'm just glad we got it to push, uh, to, to release. And I'm glad that you didn't give up. And. It's, it's crazy. He put so many resources in it, so much time, so much money actually. Like just just a little um, little thing that I can talk about. Um, he bought all the Minecrackers that he recorded, um, hard drives, shipped them out to them. And they put their footage on there and shipped it back to them. So he suddenly had like 13, 14 hard drives the footage out of his own pocket so yeah he he is awesome well 
I'm gonna show you the results once I'm done with the screws. And well, see you then. Okay, <coughs> there we go. Um, pieces are done. Um, they don't look as shiny as I hoped, but well, who cares? They look better now, in my my opinion. And well, I call it a success. Um, same with those things here. Those had a like had a really thick and bad rust layer. You can still kind of see it on there because I just I put them in and laid them onto the side. I put them in and I just dipped them in and didn't really let them sit in for for a long time. So, well, I think they look pretty decent for. I mean, this this thing here. This cost me about seven euros. This one kilogram, well, one liter bottle. It's awesome. <laughs> Phosphoric acid is amazing. Um, I have those things in here. God damn it. Um, I have those things in there right now, like one of them. Um, they will probably lose their paint, but doesn't really matter. Either I leave them without paint. Or I just paint them. Looks like this afterwards. This is just a piece of pipe that I cut and just sprayed to test the color. Um, and here I have one more thing that, well, if this thing ain't rusty, I don't know. I want to see how this turns out. If I just put it in there, because this is, oops, sorry, recording cut off. Um, well, I was just about to say that this is pretty much the ultimate test for phosphoric acid. And let's see how it turns out. And this is the part where my phone battery died out. Anyways, um, I think it turned out pretty well for for what it is. I mean, it's six euros or whatever, like the, the acid. And I also bought the gloves for like two or three euros on Amazon. And yeah, one more thing, please do not take any, anything what I'm doing here. As for advice, um, do not attempt this at home if you have no clue what you're doing like me. Um, maybe look up other channels if you really want to mess with acid, because I am definitely not the right channel to, to take advice from. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Hope you liked it. See you guys.